Hello fellow stitchers, my name is Debbie and this is my first floss tube video so bear with me. Um, if you can see her, that's my dog Chloe, she may join us up and down a little bit since I'm doing something different which is always exciting for her. Um, I decided to start doing floss tube videos because I have started my own line of patterns um, through my shop called Thread Wishes, um, which can be found on Etsy. And so I figured I'd show you today um, some of my finished projects that I've completed for Thread Wishes, as well as some work in progress that I'm doing um, from other designers. Um, to start off, just a little bit about myself. I'm a pretty nerdy person. I uh, like to read a lot. Um, currently, I work at a library, uh, my local library, as a children's librarian. And before that, I worked for four years as a children's bookseller um, at a local independent toy store and bookstore. Um, and that was really fun, too. So obviously, I do a lot of reading. I do a lot of listening to audiobooks um, while I cross stitch so I am hoping to do a few book reviews maybe with my floss two videos we'll see um, I also like to play video games my husband and I are both big gamers and um, I also like to do a lot of baking so a lot of my favorite cross stitches that I do I don't do a lot of really big patterns um, but I do a lot of I, I really enjoy classic um, kind of samplers as well as uh, just all kinds of fun stuff um, to start off let me show you my most recent um, finished piece, which is my Cinderella sampler. Um, I posted some pictures on Stitch Mania as well as a few other places, but I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Um, this is the only one I currently have framed. I just reused the same frame for all of my pictures for Etsy um, because I'm cheap <laughs> and I don't have anywhere to hang them right now in my little apartment. Um, this is my stitching spot here in our living room. It's where I spend most of my time when I am at home. Um, so I wanted to do traditional samplers um, with kind of a fun twist. Fairy tales are really big right now with Once Upon a Time and um, you know, Mattel has their um, their fairy tale doll line that I can't think of the name now. Um, I think it's Mattel. Uh, I can't remember what they're called now. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, but fairy tales are pretty popular. I've always loved them since I was a little girl. I mean, what little girl doesn't love fairy tales, right? Um, so I wanted to start off with um, a couple of my favorite fairy tales, but there's definitely lots more in the works right now. Um, I like to use, as a lot of modern stitchers do, um, hand dyed thread. So here I have some Weeks Dye Works and some Gentle Arts on the pumpkin, as well as beadwork. If I kind of twist it, you might be able to see the glint of the beads. I try not to do a lot of beading because I think people get a little overwhelmed with it, um, but I like to do a little bit in each of my pieces. So this is the latest one that I just finished. I really like this one. It may be my favorite so far. My next pattern that I did, this is the first one that I stitched up for Thread Wishes, is the Princess and the Pea. Um, I used a very, very faintly pink, it may not even show up in the video, I had a hard time getting it to show in the pictures, um, fabric just to make it a little girly. And this one's really fun. My favorite um, detail on the Princess and the Pea is these little pea pods in the border. They're made out of a slightly bigger, I think, pony bead is what they're called from Mill Hill. And the color was just perfect. And um, there's even a little bit of bee, a little pea hiding in the mattress on the bed. So I really enjoyed stitching this one. Um, color palettes are a little bit of a struggle for me still, trying to get colors that work, but I just did some bright fun things. This would be a great one to sub out for all hand dyed threads or um, just whatever threads you want um, to make the mattresses match like a nursery or something like that. Um, so that's Princess and the Pea. The next one that I finished was The Little Mermaid because I figured Everyone loves The Little Mermaid, right? Um, this one's just a great, um, uh, I lost my train of thought, a great ocean sampler. Because um, it's not really super mermaidy. I try to include some mermaid tails over here um, to make it more mermaid. But mostly I just had fun um, stitching up these little sea creatures. My favorite one is the jellyfish. That one took me a couple of tries to get it to look the way I wanted it to, um, but thankfully I was able to figure it out and I think it turned out really great. Um, I also love the beadwork here I did for the bubbles. 
those are just really pretty and fun. This is the only one I've stitched up so far that was not on crystal fabric, but you could definitely use um, crystal cashel uh, or crystal lugana if you wanted. Um, I think I pronounced those right. So I really like how this one turned out. And all of my samplers I wanted to design as well so that if you wanted to go through and replace the wording with a child's name, you could easily write like Charlotte or Jacob right here. Hey, Chloe. Um, and then do birth stats where I have the, the lettering and the numbers, or it just makes a great um, piece for any part of your house. Obviously, they're not just for um, babies, but that's kind of, I think, what a lot of people use for traditional samplers. And then my last one that I have finished currently is my Rapunzel sampler, the Let Down Your Hair sampler. Um, this one, my favorite detail on this one is that it is Rapunzel's braid around the border. It didn't show up as well as I wanted in the pictures. I don't know if people necessarily can see that on Etsy, but you can see her braid starts out here and it goes all the way around the border and then finishes up at the top of the tower. And then um, since Rapunzel spends all day and all night in her tower, um, every day of her life, I did the sun and the moon on there, as well as just an assortment of fun flowers and different colors. I also really like the fabric on this one. Oh, and I guess I'm wrong. This one's not crystal either. Don't listen to me. But again, you could swap that out for crystal um, fabric as well. So that all turned out, um, I, I'm really happy with this one. At least the border is probably my favorite out of them. I like having borders around the samplers. I try and keep them in with the theme um, for Cinderella. It's magic for this one. I did some of the sea creatures and the seaweed as part of the border, but I think it just gives it a fun little twist. Um, so that's all of my patterns that I have finished so far. Um, I do have a Facebook page, a Thread Wishes, if you look it up on Facebook. Um, I'll be updating, I like to do a floss toss when I am starting to stitch up a new pattern. And then I have people guess. I'll probably be doing a contest for my number five pattern, where if you guess the fairy tale correctly, you will win one of my patterns for free. And that'll be coming up probably in the next month or two. I'm taking a little bit of a break while I design a couple of more patterns. I do it all um, on my computer first before I stitch them up because I could not figure that out if I was stitching as I went. Um, and that's okay. So let me show you some works in progress. Uh, before I jump into that, part of what I want to do for my Floss 2 videos is show you what I'm reading or what I'm listening to right now. So I'm currently listening to Glass Sword, which is the sequel to Red Queen. It's a YA series. I mostly read YA and kid stuff, and part of that's my job, and part of it's just because I never grew out of it. Um, about halfway through this one, it's pretty good. I liked Red Queen a lot. Um, I don't know if this is quite living up to my expectations for the sequel, but it's all right. Um, and then after that, I want to listen to Jacoby, which is very well acclaimed, um, and a lot of people are excited about that. So I may write a little or share a little bit more about that one next week. So that's what I'm listening to right now. Um, Currently, my main projects, I've been doing the Frosted Pumpkin Stitch Along. Um, I'm all cut up, um, but the first is in two days, and I'll I try and get it done in the first few days, so it's just out of the way, because I got really behind on the, um, the one from last year, and still I'm not anywhere close to finishing it. But I try and work on this one every month when the new clue comes out. I love Frosted Pumpkin. Their stuff is so cute. Um, I'm also working on just started their new sampler, um, their new club, which is the National Parks Club. I couldn't think of what it was called. And so far I've done a couple of words for this. Um, still a long way to go. Um, I used even weave on this. I can't remember what the recommended fabric was, but I really like doing their patterns in even weave, especially a 32 count. It just seems to show up better. So I think that's what I picked up for their Halloween club as well with some 32 count. Okay, and then my very last one that I'm working on here is um, the Queen Elizabeth coronation pattern. I think that's what it's called um, by Teresa Gill. And this one's huge. It's going to take me forever to finish it. Because it's like, this is just a little corner of it, and it's probably, you know, this big. Um, I'm working on this as a gift for a family member, and it's going to take freaking forever. So I try not to do, like, these big full coverage pieces very much, because I get a little distressed by them. But I do like them. Um, I like how they turn out, but I just tend to get too sidetracked to do a lot of them. So those are my current works in progress at the moment. Um, 
and I think that's it so thank you for watching I'm really excited to do some more floss tube videos and if you have any questions about my process for designing I would love to answer them um, I'm hoping to do more videos about that process um, I also have quite a bit of stash not as much as some of you lovely ladies out there you guys have an amazing amount of stash but um, I would love to show you some of my fabric stash as well as some patterns that I'm excited about, some kits that I would like to stitch in the next year or so. Um, ha, that's what we always tell ourselves, right? Uh, just next year I'll get to this one. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't do a lot of works in progress at a time. Right now I have four that I showed you and then I usually I throw in one of my own but that's really as many as I would want to do at one time just my personal preference so again I'm really excited to be doing more videos and um yeah if you have any questions just uh ask and I will get to them in my next one so thanks bye, -bye.